Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. All right, guys. So I want to go back into this. Um, I got a question about this, and I will be discussing this in more detail over the next six to 12 months because, in my personal opinion, this is really the uh, the, the big thing to look out for. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm primarily talking about a great shakeout in the next four years. And I'm going to explain why I think that's going to happen. I mean, there's a number of reasons why. Um, so looking back at it today, right, when we look back at everything that's happened since June or everything that's happened since Terra Luna collapsed. Now, in retrospect, looking back on it, it kind of all looks like it was a big shakeout, doesn't it? It kind of all looks like it was designed to push retail out of the market. Now, for all I know, the entire industry, they're going to scrap this whole system tomorrow and everything's going to go to zero. And then uh, it will just look like the industry was falling apart, right? But assuming that adoption continues, which is not a sure thing, nothing's ever a sure thing. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. But assuming adoption continues and price and value meet at some point in the future, the last 12 months will look very much like a intentional shakeout of retail. Because while all the FUD and fear and regulatory noise has been happening, what have the institutions been doing? They've been regularly implementing this technology. Now, since June, um, Swift started using Chainlink. That's actually what this video is gonna be about. And it's not necessarily about Chainlink or this person right here. It's more so about the influencers, the narratives that they're pushing, the fact that they're underselling adoption. They're not even, it's not that they're underselling adoption. They're just denying that it's happening. And, you know, my video will be out this weekend, probably on Sunday. And then a week or two from then, I will do another video highlighting all the more permission or permissioned private networks that a lot of enterprise software companies are already, already using and they've already implemented. But if you want to know why I think there's going to be a great shakeout is because I think in four years from now, it is reasonable to expect that this is just the new system because that's how fast adoption is moving right now. And if I just look out over the next four years, and that's assuming that what we know is everything. That's assuming that what we know is just, even if you just go off of that specifically, just go off what we know. I still think in four years from now, this is just going to be the new system. And I mean, give or take 12 months. But I mean, in, I think in five years, I, I really do think in four years, period, this is the new system. But, but um, even if you want to add another 12 months, the point that I'm making here is that the, the window is not nearly as big as what 99% of content creators are acting like. But these are also the same people that do not talk about adoption. Okay. So in my opinion, I think in four years, it's going to be the new system. And I so if that's what I genuinely see happening, and I do, and I feel like I actually have some credibility on this subject, more so than 95% of the other content creators who haven't even been acknowledging there's any adoption, but I would see a massive, massive shakeout coming in the next four years, because once this is officially the new system, once all this tech is integrated into everything, there, you're not going to be able to scare people out the same way you can now. See, now when they can just lie about adoption and push regulatory FUD and suppress the market, it's very easy to shake people out of their positions. But in four years from now, when people understand the scale at which this technology is going to be used or it's already being used, um, it's going to be much more difficult to do that. So in my personal opinion, a lot of influencers are going to come out and they're going to say things like what this person said. Essentially, that over the next four years, Chainlink is going to have little to no price appreciation. For the most part. The four years from now, it's going to be at $10. So it's what seven right now. So little, very little to no price appreciation over the next four years. Despite the fact that Swift, that Chainlink is already being used by Swift, Chainlink is already being used by one or two of the big four. And has a monopoly on the space. And in four years from now, Chainlink will be moving the majority of data for institutions, in my opinion. But there, it's going to have very little price. Pre Why? Why? B because, because some person on Twitter thinks so. And, and see, a lot of these influencers, it's what they're going to tell you. 
they're, they're going to present it like this. It's just going to go up and come right back down, go up and come right back down, go up and come right. They're literally talking about this as if it is a pump and dump Ponzi scheme. So I think all of them are going to do this. And I think they're going to get so hysterical and, and they're all going to be just screaming at the top of their lungs, telling you to sell everything. Watch what I tell. Mark my words. Mark my words. And so in my personal opinion, I think it would be wise to, because this is just an example. I'm not picking on this person. I don't know who they are. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I would get on camera and probably, uh, I mean, again, guys, anybody, I would debate anybody anywhere, anytime on most anything that I say. All right. I can actually back up the things that I say. A lot of these people can't. And so they hide behind their keyboards and they just push out stupid shit all day long. Most of them have absolutely no experience in the software space. And I, I just hate to break it to you. I mean, yeah, yeah, that does actually impact um, the degree to which you can analyze this situation, in my opinion. If you're a content creator, okay? Um, so I think that you're going to see a lot of other content creators do this. They're, they're going to present it like this. We're going to have a move up over the next couple of years, and then we're going to come right back down. And then we're going to go into a very long bear market. That's what they're going to tell you. Now, guys, for all I know, I'm not in the business of trying to predict where the price is going to be in the future. Um, I've completely, you know, I'm done with that. Um, for all I know, guys, I, it, it is possible that Chainlink could be at $10 in four years from now, in, in 2026. Well, I guess it's you know, three and a half, whatever. Um, I, I guess that is possible. I'm just saying that all of these people are going to be pushing this messaging. Big move up or a move up and then right back down and then flat for the next few years. So essentially what they're gonna, gonna say, say is that in 2026-ish, that general time frame, which in my opinion, this will just be the new system by then, 2026, 2027, um, that there's gonna be very little to no price appreciation between now and then. So we'll be, on, this will just be the new system. It'll be integrated into everything the general public will know and understand that. Well, at least a much larger percentage will know and understand that. But yet we're going to be the same the same relative prices or the same ranges that we're at right now. And there's going to be so many content creators that tell you this. Just Again, this is just their opinion. And I'm not saying that this isn't possible because it's 100% possible. But I also, you know, I, I'm honest enough to say I have no idea and neither does anybody else. And the only thing that putting shit like this out does is it just convinces people to get out of the market. That's all it does. It, it serves no other purpose. It, it convinces people to get out of the market. As soon as they go like two, three X, sell everything and get out. And that's what they're going to do to people. They're going to continue. They're, they're going to get them to literally sell off all their crypto over the next few years. And then they're going to be, you know, those people will have probably, you know, decent returns, um, be sitting all in fiat and, and watch price asset prices um, be significantly higher than where they originally were when they purchased it. So I'm not, I'm not like against taking profit. I, I will do my own video on profit taking and what my plan is. I do plan to take profits, but um, this stuff is so th this is a plague in the space. Influencers that put out shit like this and try to put out you know, statements of fact, like, oh, the price is going to do this, price is going to do that. These people are a fucking plague in this space. So if you want to know why I think there's going to be a great shakeout, it's going to be because of people like this, in my opinion. That's all I have for this video, and I will be discussing this in more depth as this continues. Um, I think this is probably the biggest uh, thing that retail needs to watch out for over the next one to two years, in my opinion. And I think that it'd be wise to develop a plan and a strategy and stick to that, as opposed to being influenced by a lot of these content creators who are talking about a asset class and technology that they either don't fully understand or they're lying. So I don't understand, I don't know what a third option would be to explain that. So that's all I have. Take care, have a good day, not financial advice. I'll see you in the next video.